everybody. So it's kind of ironic that it's a look, the weather is a little shaky right now, which is why we're here in the first place. Um, but anyway, it's good to see everybody. And uh, before we start, I'd like to have everybody stand. We're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we're going to have the national anthem sung by one of our employees, Wanda Davis. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight were the we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockers were there the bones bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Please be seated. I want to thank Wanda. Wanda's in our ITS department. Where's ITS at? Okay. If we have a talent show at one of our um, functions, you got to sign up Wanda. Kevin, you have competition. Anyway, I want to welcome everybody here this morning to our official groundbreaking for our new uh, school board meeting. And it was just a year ago, literally a year ago, that. Uh, Hurricane hit and uh, we got uh, literally washed out. But our theme for last year was we were going to rise above it, and uh, and we've done so. So I'm glad that everybody's here. We have some uh, folks that I'd like to introduce. First, uh, first off, I'd like to introduce our school board members that are up in the front: our chair Donna Mills, our vice chair Debbie Holly, Carol Helson, Catherine Hensley, Secret Service, Security Troy Ingersoll. I'd also like to congratulate our board members. Uh, three of the board members went through an election and all three were re-elected and that's a great thing for our school district. We also have some special guests that are here as well uh, from the Economic Development Council, a great partner with the school district, Mr. Pete Tesh, who to my left. Our uh, architect, Tony Donadio. And uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, Art, Art Mins, and uh, Stephen Maths. Also, um, our county administrator, and appreciate him coming out this morning, is Mr. Howard Tipton. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa Aronson's here from the, from the chamber. She's over in the back. From Vogel CPA and a member of the Economic Development Council, Chris Vogel. From Syrian, also a member of Economic Development Council, Rich Kalita. Is Commissioner Johnson here, Jeremiah Johnson? All right. Let's see here. Have I missed, have I missed anyone? Did I miss anybody? OK. I'll hear about it later on. All right, very good. Anyway, again, I want to welcome everybody here. And this is, um, I just mentioned Pete Tesh. Pete's going to come up here in just a second. But Pete's the head of the Economic Development Council. He's one of the first. In fact, he interviewed me uh, about three and a half years ago. He was the moderator when I was interviewed uh, about 8.30 in the evening. 
and um, that was my first interactions with him. He asked some softball questions, so I've never forgot about that, and uh, everything went well after that. But uh, P with the Economic Development Council is a partner with us. We do a lot of uh, activities within our school centers uh, with our students, with um, pre-apprenticeships, with uh, career technical education, which is one of our strengths, and um, just a great partner to have. And a lot of the positive things that you see going on with building in the county, with the county administration and the county governments, uh, Pete's integral in that part in bringing businesses here. So Pete, come on up, and thank you for being here. Well, I've got some notes here. Well, good morning, everyone. How you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me uh, offer my congratulations to the school board and the superintendent for uh, building this fine structure. Mike, looks like you got a site that's high and dry, so it's uh, going to be a great start. Um, as his superintendent mentioned, uh, we have a very strong partnership with the uh, school board and our public sector partners in economic development, workforce readiness, and technical training and education. And uh, it's not lost on us about the re-election of uh, Debbie, uh, uh, Troy, and Donna. Congratulations on your re-election. Debbie, you were kind of, you, you weren't sure, were you? I said, Debbie, you're a shoe in so we very much appreciate the strong partnership and the leadership that the school board has with St. Lucie Public Schools with regard to uh, helping our students achieve uh, success uh, in career technical uh, aspects. As you know, uh, St. Lucie Public Schools are making tremendous strides academically. Um, it's so exciting to see the vast improvement in graduation rates. Um, increase in the letter grades and being in the upper quartile of the best performing schools in Florida. And this is so important to economic development because companies, whether they're new and expanding, are always looking from a competitive posture to see where is the best place to relocate and expand. And when they see this information, this intelligence, we're so proud to share that with them. And now it's being uh, implemented in a very uh, real-world fashion. Uh, the superintendent mentioned Rich Kalita, and Rich is the uh, chairperson, the chairman of uh, our Workforce Readiness Task Force. And uh, that was the genesis of the skills gap study back in 2015, and now the skills gap initiative. And it's really funny is that if you uh, plan your work and work your plan, great things will happen. And already, we have taken the recommendations of this skills gap initiative and put it into play. And as the superintendent mentioned, some of the things that are coming to play include, uh, we have our guidance counselor tours, our pre-apprenticeship program, our manufacturing apprenticeship program with Career Source Research Coast, and um, also our manufacturing boot camp. So I always talk about uh, engaging the world of work with the world of the classroom. And this is so important for um, our future development here in St. Lucie County. So Wayne, members of the school board, and most important, you all that are in the rank and file that make this happen every day. You know, it, it's not only to see that this actually happens, but you're excited about it happening. It's like, we want to work with you. We want to help our kids. One last thing and I'll, I'll stop because the sun's coming up and the temperature is rising and uh, I'm, I'm always worried about being a walking biohazard. So, but one thing uh, I wanted to share about the manufacturing boot camp that was so exciting. Um, we had 21 uh, young students, uh, high school uh, seniors uh, back in June that we worked with the Treasure Coast Manufacturers Association and the EDC. Uh, we worked with Alicia Seitz, the new Career and Technical Education Director. And we said, hey, we want to find maybe 10, 15 students that want to go into manufacturing. And the only letter that we're worried about is A. And it wasn't a, a, a letter grade, it was A for attitude. And uh, through Alicia and uh, the students and the teachers, we found 21 young people that wanted to go into manufacturing. What was really uh, intriguing is that these were students from all walks of life and we had five manufacturers that uh, provided uh, all day 
hands-on uh, application to uh, this exciting industry. And um, a couple of the students, unfortunately, were homeless. And it was it's like, wow, they were coming to us and said, you know, we need to work. You know, we don't, we don't, we can't sustain ourselves in a fast food restaurant. We, we need to work. So it w really enjoyed the fact that these children, these young people, they couldn't spell manufacturing on Monday. And then on Friday in our graduation and uh, the linkage that we had with uh, about 10 or 12 employers, they were like, wow, I can't believe I found this. This was a really great vista for us. This is a great opportunity. So it happened. Um, right now, um, as of the end of September, 15 of those 21 students are now employed. And manufacturing is one of the highest uh, paid wages in the county. So with healthcare, skilled trades, manufacturing, professional and business services, you know, we're, we're just absolutely delighted to partner with you and, on making uh, children's lives and their future families uh, prosperous and giving them uh, a solid ground in reality. Uh, Mr. Superintendent, thanks again uh, for allowing me to speak for a few minutes and uh, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. I want to thank Pete for what he just said because a lot of folks don't realize that what we do uh, in our school district, and we, uh, we are fifth in the state in our graduation rate. We're ranked 20, and that's fifth in the state, number one right here in the Treasure Coast, and um, 22nd in the top third with academic performance, uh, trailing only Martin County on the Treasure Coast. And a lot of positive things are going on with our career technical education and industry certifications. That has skyrocketed and boomed, and we've got some good programs going on out there, as Pete mentioned. And it can't happen without good partnerships and uh, working with the EDC and Rich and some of the, some of the folks that are there. And it's uh, probably one of our best kept secrets. And we're really preparing students for college and or a career. One of the two tracks. Sometimes folks say it's just about college and it's not about that. It's about kids being successful when they walk out of our doors. And we got about 3,000 of them every year that uh, we hand a diploma to. So we're very uh, pleased with that partnership. I want to introduce just a couple of other folks. Uh, and I won't do it by name, but uh, uh, Dan Harrell, our, our school board attorney, is here. And Dan's over here on the side, also with his Secret Service glasses on. And uh, <laughs> trying to make his job easy. And uh, also, I want to introduce uh, my, uh, my cabinet, my members of the cabinet that are here, led by the Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Prince. Would all the cabinet members please stand up so we... Bill, you're hiding in the back. And uh, there's a seat right here. Bill loves the limelight. And uh, anyway, but I, I do want to say thanks to, to those gentlemen and the ladies uh, that serve on the cabinet. Many of them, several of them aren't here. They're out in the school centers right now, our executive directors and other folks. And I want to give a uh, special thanks. When you look around this morning and you see the, the tarp, and when I woke up, it was thundering and lightning at my house. And so I thought this was a perfect day. And, uh, you know, everything will work out. And Carrie, uh, Carrie just said it, the sun was shining and everything was beautiful. But if you look around at all the efforts that went forward to make this successful, uh, starting with Carrie Patrick and starting with uh, facilities and with, uh, John, uh, with uh, where's John Gillette and Terrence and, uh, and, I, and the uh, TV station and, and, and food service, I know I'll miss some folks, but I appreciate this because I know this wasn't an easy task. And... Uh, um, we just appreciate so much what they've done to come out here uh, last night and this morning to set it up because it does look great. And I just wanted to thank those folks and we'll uh, probably bring you out to a school board meeting as well and embarrass you and, and get you up front and give you some nice rec recognition. Um, so a year ago we were flooded out and it wasn't the first time that the district's been flooded out and um, we were displaced. And so to the employees, where's all the, all of our building level employees, wave. If I have you all stand. Uh, they're all here, and uh, they just represent a small portion of that. We have over 320 folks that work in the district building. And so we were displaced all across the county to different school sites and in different uh, district sites. And um, is Marty here? Let me see. Right. I wanted to recognize Marty as well. Because so then we, when we met with the board, and I talked to the board and recommended to the board that maybe it's time to look outside and to look to look at the building a new building because you don't want to go into a place that's been flooded several times and uh, number one you, it's just it's, the building should set an image the building should be about what this district represents and that's trying to uh, prepare our students for uh, 
for the world of work or the world of college and educating them each and every day, every child every day. And so this board uh, was a very courageous board and took on the recommendation to look for a new site. And so we looked at some 26 different sites that were across the, 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 the uh, county and uh, landed on this spot right here. And there's a couple of reasons why. This is a 50-year venture. We're, we're, we're looking at the future and not at the past, uh, but looking out for the future. And when you look at the demographics of the county and in a couple of years where the demographics will be, the center of the county real dem with, with population is just going to be about two miles east, uh, east of here. And when we look at the, our school centers and where our schools are, are, are at as well and located, um, again, it's just about two to three miles east of here is the school center. Um, and so this site became available. We were able to make a, a good deal on this. And uh, so I wanted to commend and congratulate our board for making a very courageous stand and then say that this is important. This is about equity for our county. And when we look at this site now with the four landing of, of uh, Midway and when the Crosstown Parkway is complete, our furthest school that way is Mariposa, and our furthest school that way is Lakewood Park. But from almost anywhere in the county, it's about, from the furthest distance, is around a 20-minute drive. And from Orange Avenue, it's 10 minutes. From downtown, downtown Fort Pierce, it's about 15. From Mariposa, it's 20. So it's centrally located right here. Because a lot, what a lot of folks don't know is what happens in the building each and every day, and I'll get into that in just a moment. So I want this building really when we're here in, in about a year, and hopefully it's a year. Where's, where's Terrence? Where's, where's Mike? Mike, right? Right, right, June, maybe. Uh, put the pressure on him. You know, take a picture. He had a thumbs up for June. I should have said May. Uh, that will uh, will be uh, will be moving into a building. A 50. It'll be uh, there'll be three three phases of the building. And uh, tomorrow, when we meet with the district staff, we'll have some photos and some pictures for you uh, to show you how it will look. But it'll be almost 50 feet tall, almost as long, about 365 feet long, a little longer than a. Uh, than a football field, and I think you're going to enjoy that, what we've done. But we want that to really be a symbol when folks come in to apply for positions or somebody's coming in to enroll their children, that their first impression is like, wow, wow, this is a great place. Because uh, you only get one chance to make a first impression. But more importantly than that is what happens inside that building, because that building is all about service. And you all that are out there right now, our employees, it's all about service to the school centers. Even though our core mission is teaching and learning, and it will always be that. There are so many other things that go on to make sure that this school district is successful as it can be. And part of that, and most of that, is about the service that we provide, whether it's in ITS, we mentioned that, whether it's in facilities, whether it's in custodial, whether it's in transportation, whether it's in publications, in communication, whether it's in business services. I'm, I'm going to miss HR. Uh, if I miss your department, you're not on the chopping block. Uh, but all of those are so important. I see insurance out there. Insurance is, uh, risk management is so important on what we're doing right now. Um, but that we're really about service to others. It's not, no coincidence that this past year we were uh, uh, got an award for one of the best places to work in St. Lucie County. And that's a, a, a direct um, because of the employees that we have and their service to the school centers. So when we were displaced last year and we went out, the one message that I gave to our employees was it doesn't matter uh, that we're displaced. What matters is what happens in the classroom between the boys and girls and the young people and their teachers. And we're, our level of service is not going to stop. And our support for the schools is not going to diminish. And that was proven when we do those climate surveys that everybody loves. Uh, and we talk about our level of performance and how they view different departments. And every, almost without exception, every department went up. And so I want to compliment and thank our employees because we're housed up at Dan McCarty, we're housed over here at the Parkway, we're housed over here at the Annex, uh, and uh, I want to thank the college for, and, and Dr. Massey for allowing us to be able to do that. So we're, we're pretty much out of, out of, out of flats, so we're all over the place. But our level of service and our support for our schools has not diminished. In fact, it's gotten stronger. So I appreciate that. That's professionalism. That's what this district represents. So again, on behalf of the school board and myself personally, I want to thank our employees for what you all have done. Uh, and we have one more year, and we'll, we'll rise to that occasion as well, and then we'll be back home. One of the things that I miss the most is my style is, I, don't, I very rarely call anybody on the phone in the building. I get up and go over and see you or come and talk because that's my way to interact. That's my way to get some, burn some calories. But most importantly, to see what's happening and to be able to come out and make sure that I'm supporting you and to see what's happening in your individual department. So I miss that. I miss that aspect of it and miss that interaction and, and being able to see you. So that's why we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you wear your jerseys, a shameless plug, and uh, make sure that you, you uh, we're going to do a little trivia game tomorrow too. We're going to have a lot of fun 
um, with, uh, with a game that we're going to play with you all. So again, thanks for what you're doing. We have four core missions in our school district. Teaching and learning is the most important thing that happens. Safety and security, I want to thank our security guys. You see the, uh, the trucks, the cars, everybody's out here today with the lights flashing and to what they do to protect our children and working with the sheriff and local law enforcement. Um, thirdly, it's about teaching and, uh, I'm sorry, thirdly, it's talent development. And that's what I wanted to talk about just for a second. The talent development, to make sure that you all, our employees and our teachers and our administrators and our staff members and our bus drivers and everyone is adequately trained. One of the great things that's going to be about this building is the school board office itself is going to be, can be transformed into about six different training rooms. That will be complete with, a, with a, a projection screen so that we'll be able to, we do not have adequate training space. We haven't had it in a long time. So we're very, very confident that we'll be able to do that because uh, that school board, um, it'll be a multi-use um, building. We can bring groups in from the outside as well, and it can be truly something for the community. But as well as if we're going to make sure that our children are educated and we're going to make sure that we're continuing to perform at high levels, which we're doing, it can't happen without adequate training and continuous training and uh, professional development for our employees. So that's one of the things I'm most excited about in our new building. And then thirdly, our, our, we have communication, community service, and uh, I mean, uh, customer service and community engagement, where we want to be involved with the community. We have many of the partners that are here right now, and we want to continue those partnerships and to expand that. So, everybody's fanning and everybody's a little bit warm, but this is really a great day and one that I've been looking forward to uh, for a long time, and uh, to see this dream come to fruition uh, for the kids in this community and for this community itself. And again, I want to thank everyone that's made the day possible um, to come out from Wanda, setting up the, the tone for the national anthem, and for the folks that had this set up. Uh, and then we'll be coming back in June, and uh, we'll have a ribbon cutting, and we'll have a wonderful time there with a tour of the building. So again, uh, I look forward to seeing our, our uh, the district office staff tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you guys and having a little fun, and uh, again, really going around and talking to each one of you personally, and thanking you on behalf of the school board and myself. So how, how pleased and how proud I am of you for what you've been able to accomplish this, this past year. Some of you had double moves, and some of you had triple moves. Uh, and now we think we've got everybody in, in a good landing spot, and uh, and we'll continue to thrive and support our school district. So, um, so we're going to take the board members, uh, Mr. Pete, if you'll come on over as well, Pete Tesh, and uh, we're going to come on over here and, and do a photo shot. So as we wrap this up, I want to make sure that you look to your right and you'll see on this table, you'll see a lot of goodies. You'll see some fruit, you'll see some, uh, looks like some nice ice cream stuff with nuts on it and some water and some pastries. I want to make sure you go over there order, orderly in an orderly fashion. Um, remember, we brought you over here on the school bus. I understand that no one got a referral on the school bus, that you guys behaved yourself. So when you go through the line to eat, make sure that uh, you do the same thing. We don't want anybody in in-school suspension today. Uh, or up for any kind of uh, discipline action. Again, I want to thank Pete for coming. Okay, that's the signal. And uh, I want to thank our guests that are here, all the guests that came, our school board members, all of our employees, members of the community for coming out and celebrating today with us. Again, we're going to have a little reception here afterwards and, and enjoy yourselves and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the future. Our future is very bright and uh, we're very excited about where we're heading. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you.